It's been four uh, decades of a long uh, journey, but now the Voyager 2 spacecraft has finally bid farewell to our solar system. At the very edge of the solar system, far beyond the orbit of Neptune and past the swirling boundary of the heliosphere, Voyager 2 has made a discovery that defies long-standing expectations in astrophysics. After more than four decades traveling through the cold, vast dark of interstellar space, the spacecraft has sent back data that has left scientists astonished. This isn't simply another milestone in a long journey, it's a revelation that forces a re-evaluation of what was believed to be a settled understanding of the solar system's limits and the nature of the interstellar frontier. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Voyager 2, launched in 1977, was one of two spacecraft designed for a grand tour of the outer planets. Yet its mission evolved far beyond those early years of planetary flybys. After passing Neptune in 1989, it continued toward the edge of the solar system, carrying a golden record in the hopes of science aboard a small, nuclear-powered craft no larger than a compact car. In 2018, it crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind from the sun meets the interstellar medium. It was only the second human-made object to do so after its twin, Voyager 1. For years since, Voyager 2 has been sailing in a space dominated not by our sun, but by the galactic environment beyond. That transition alone was once thought to be the final chapter in its scientific contribution. It was not. The recent discovery occurred as Voyager 2's instruments continued to sample the plasma, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays that swirl beyond the heliopause. While the environment was assumed to be relatively static, thin, cold, and mostly uniform, the spacecraft's sensors recorded something no one anticipated. Sharp, high-frequency plasma oscillations, punctuated by sudden spikes in particle density, behaving in a rhythm not predicted by current models. These weren't anomalies from inside the spacecraft. They were consistent, directional, and unmistakably extraterrestrial in origin. What makes this discovery so shocking is that the region beyond the heliopause was considered a relatively quiet zone, an area where the sun's influence fades and the interstellar medium begins. It should have been smooth and homogeneous in nature, shaped over billions of years by slow-moving galactic winds and supernova remnants. Instead, Voyager 2 has uncovered an active, dynamic zone marked by turbulence and structural complexity. The spacecraft is essentially detecting shock waves, rippling disturbances that seem to travel across vast stretches of space. These pulses are not mere electromagnetic interference. They are physical manifestations of energy transfer, the likes of which had not been expected in such a remote, tenuous region. The data suggests that these waves may be linked to solar activity, coronal mass ejections that manage to punch through the heliopause, reverberating through interstellar space like ocean swells crashing against an unseen shore. The existence of such interactions was theorized, but never observed. Voyager 2 has now provided the first direct evidence that solar eruptions can have far-reaching effects, even beyond the known extent of the sun's magnetic field. But more intriguingly, some of the disturbances appear to have no connection to solar events at all, raising the possibility that other cosmic phenomena, possibly even the influence of nearby stellar systems or ancient shock fronts from long past supernovae, are interacting with the edges of our solar neighborhood. Adding further to the enigma is the detection of magnetic field reversals that don't align with the solar magnetic cycle. Voyager 2's magnetometer, while old, remains sensitive enough to track these shifts, and what it has picked up contradicts the clean models that have governed heliophysics for decades. Rather than a simple boundary where one magnetic regime gives way to another, the heliopause appears to be riddled with distortions, folds, and eddies. The space Voyager 2 has entered isn't a quiet ocean. It's more like the churning waters near a tectonic rift, an area of active pressure, turbulence, and mixing. This reshapes how we must think about the solar system's borders. For a long time, the heliosphere was imagined as a protective bubble, shielding our planetary system from the harshest elements of galactic space. The heliopause was thought to be the outer skin of this bubble, cleanly separating the solar wind from the interstellar medium. But Voyager 2's observations suggest a far messier transition, a kind of interstellar surf zone, where two colossal forces, solar and galactic, collide in ways that are neither stable nor passive. These discoveries have wide-ranging implications, especially for our understanding of cosmic radiation. If the heliopause is not a rigid barrier, but rather a porous, fluctuating membrane, 
then the flux of high energy particles entering our solar system is likely more variable than we assume. This could affect everything from climate modeling over millennia to the safety of future deep space missions. For crewed missions beyond Mars, or perhaps even into interstellar space one day, the nature of cosmic ray exposure becomes a life and death calculation. Voyager 2's data could therefore prove to be a cornerstone in designing future shielding technologies and mission plans. Moreover, the unusual density spikes and magnetic irregularities Voyager 2 has encountered may point toward a more profound mystery. Some researchers now suspect that this area could be the site of exotic physical processes, phenomena that may not conform to traditional particle physics. If these disturbances are not just products of interstellar turbulence, but hints of interactions with dark matter or exotic particles, then Voyager 2 might be brushing against the edge not just of the solar system, but of known physics. One of the most stunning aspects of this discovery is the way it challenges our conception of space itself. The term void is often used to describe interstellar space, but that word may no longer apply. Instead of a dead zone, Voyager 2 has revealed a region teeming with unseen activity. The solar system doesn't end in silence. It transitions into a chaotic orchestra of plasma waves, magnetic fields, and high energy particles. This region, once thought to be the still air outside the storm, is proving to be a kind of cosmic weather system, dynamic and alive in ways we never fully appreciated. The behavior of plasma in this zone is of particular interest. Plasma, a state of matter composed of charged particles, behaves differently depending on the magnetic and electric environments in which it finds itself. Voyager 2 sensors have picked up signatures of plasma behaving as if it were being compressed, folded, and redirected in spirals that defy basic Newtonian expectations. This suggests that the interstellar medium itself may be structured by forces that are either not fully understood or not yet discovered. It opens the possibility that what we've called interstellar space is not a passive emptiness, but a kind of reactive, almost sentient medium, a medium that remembers the explosions of stars and the winds of galaxies. Even the shape of the heliosphere may need to be reconsidered. Earlier models envisioned it as a comet-like bubble, with a blunt nose facing the direction of the sun's galactic travel and a trailing tail behind. But the disturbances Voyager 2 has observed suggest a more complex, possibly asymmetrical structure, perhaps even one that flares and contracts depending on cycles of solar activity or external galactic pressures. This fluidity has profound implications for understanding how our solar system moves through the galaxy. The boundary isn't fixed. It pulses, shifts, and ripples like the surface of an enormous organism. These findings are also forcing a re-evaluation of how we define the end of the solar system. If the transition to interstellar space is marked not by a sudden drop in solar influence, but by a chaotic blending zone, then the concept of a boundary becomes metaphorical rather than physical. The solar system doesn't end at a line. It dissipates, merges, and entangles itself with the greater galaxy in a process that may never have a clearly defined edge. Voyager 2's role in this transformation of understanding cannot be overstated. Its instruments, though built with 1970s technology, have proven not only durable, but remarkably insightful. It is as though the spacecraft, by sheer persistence and unrelenting distance, has become an oracle of deep space. Its antenna whispering truths that were inaccessible by telescope or simulation alone. The discovery also underscores the value of long-term missions. No amount of short-duration, high-budget missions could have duplicated what Voyager 2 has done simply by enduring, by continuing to move outward through an unknown realm, relentlessly recording and transmitting. At the core of this unexpected revelation lies a deeper philosophical impact. Voyager 2 is a human artifact, built by hand, launched by rocket, directed by decades of shifting scientific goals. And yet it now exists in a place no human has seen or will likely see for generations. And from that vantage point, it tells us that even the most basic assumptions we held about space, the stillness, the emptiness, the calm, are illusions born of distance and lack of data. Now that we have a foothold in interstellar space, the reality is emerging. Space is alive. It has structure, memory, and movement. The impossible discovery Voyager 2 has made at the edge of the solar system is not just a triumph of engineering or curiosity, it is a portal into a new understanding of where we are. It reminds us that the solar system is not a self-contained system floating in a vacuum, but part of a broader galactic environment that is in constant interaction with it. The edge is not the end. It is the beginning of the next mystery, 
The next terrain of exploration, not a wall, but a doorway. And the most profound element of all is that this moment has arrived thanks to a machine launched when disco topped the charts, when personal computers were fantasy, and when the idea of interstellar contact was confined to science fiction. Voyager 2, quiet and enduring, is still speaking. What it has told us now is simple, yet immense. The cosmos is more intricate, more volatile, and more connected than we ever imagined. And the edge of the solar system is not the boundary of our knowledge. It's where the questions become even more extraordinary. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager 2's latest discovery? What do you expect it revealed? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.